Welcome to Reddit on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to clear my throat like as soon as the intro began, yeah, so I thought I'd wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're the internet sort of true version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Cambo Campbell. <clears throat> no, what's going on, Nelson? <laughs> the new way we Inside. introduce the show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, we are ready to just speak. A disgusting, phlegmy noises is yeah. the first thing you're going to hear. Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope that doesn't lose us any listeners. <laughs> <laughs> it might. It, 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 it's a risk. Mm. But, you know, maybe it pays dividends. I think, look, if they can get through this, they can get through our blackboard scratching segment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Cambo, mm-hmm. let's be honest yep. with the listeners. Yep. We want to get through this episode pretty damn quickly. Bloody... Snappy, mate. Yeah, as fast as we can. Yeah, we... Okay, a little insight to our lives. We both need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know you think of us as kind of like podcasting rock stars. Yeah, yeah. But I have a pretty like. strict 9.30 bedtime <laughs> that I know I'm not going to meet. Yeah. And that's freaking me out. Yeah. Well, I was meant to be in, um, in bed two hours and 15 minutes ago, <laughs> so... Not looking good. Yes, let's get yeah. straight into shower thoughts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but legit, I'm ready to go straight into Reddit. Yeah, Reddit. No, okay. let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this, I will de- I'm betting we're going under an hour. Okay. 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 Uh, it's my bet. Oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> do you think the <laughs> listeners feel a little bit cheated, maybe? Hey, it's free. What do you want from this? <laughs> We've almost exactly. given you 100 over like hour plus episodes. Yeah. Give this one to us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, okay. so go, go. Wait, also, okay, you brought yeah. it up. Yeah. Oh, it's our 100th next week. Yeah. And I know previously, like last week or the week before, we spoke about um, not having a 100th. Yeah. I legit <laughs> think that we should maybe just delay our 100th just by like uh, okay. a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm not ready for it. We th- we feel like we should do something, mm-hmm. but we haven't organized anything at all. Yeah. I am literally going to be up at 2 a.m. every morning this week. Mm. And going to bed at like five bit. I have no time to organize yeah. anything. I'm so. also busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you do nothing to the show, Amber. Yeah. We know this, okay? We're busy boys. Yeah. Too busy for this. So um, I'm going to say that uh, we'll just look. It'll be in 101st episode next week. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah. don't feel cheated. Don't you <laughs> dare feel cheated. <laughs> you dare. Look, okay. I know we said just give us this episode yeah. as like a gimme, but also next week as well when we do <laughs> the hundredth, we'd also appreciate it. Yeah. If uh, you, you got off our sleep. backs about it, <laughs> get off our backs, mom. Um. Okay. So let's get into Reddit on, on Reddit. This first one yep. is by. It was in the subreddit. Uh, to me IRL for me IRL, which is to me in real life yeah. for me in real life. Yeah. I don't really understand this subreddit, but is uh, it just self advice? No, it's like kind of. I think it's like when you uh, you see something on the internet that's kind of like dumb, but it's like oh, that's that's like me. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like a, a person sitting on the couch eating cookies by themselves. And it says, like, and this is like Nelson. And like, me, that, that is real. me. <laughs> For real. I don't know. Anyway, look, I don't know Reddit. Uh, it, 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 it is by... <laughs> Where's the 100 episodes in? Yeah. You finally admit you don't um, know Reddit. I'm really hoping the 100th <laughs> will, will, will be the cracker. Uh, okay. This is by Errol Edigayeth. I'm going to leave that. Okay. This is a screenshot of Yahoo Answers. Okay. Yep. And it said, uh, how do I put myself into a coma without killing myself <laughs> and without permanent brain damage? <laughs> My life sucks and I would commit suicide, but I think I want to wake up later. I don't really want to die. I have a roommate, so they would find. <laughs> That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> They'd find dot, dot, dot. They would find. Yeah. Uh, update. Lol, I don't want to die. I want to go to sleep for like a month. Update number two. To all you idiots incapable of literacy, I didn't ask how to improve my current circumstances. (laughs) I asked how to induce a coma. (laughs) 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 Idiots. Idiots not even (laughs) paying attention. What are they trying to help me for? Not even paying attention to the question. Oh, it'll be all right. Fuck you, it'll be all right. (laughs) So I asked. It's so... It's such a strange... (laughs) Thing mm. 
Like, but this is what I love most about Yahoo Answers. Yeah. You can think you've got the dumbest question in the world, <laughs> but somebody's asked it. Somebody's got it. Somebody's got it. Yeah. You, you could be like, what is an orange made of? Yeah. Ah, that's a dumb thing to ask. <laughs> What's it made of? And you'll be like, oh, I'm going to feel like an idiot. So you Google what's an orange made of. And the top result is always somebody's Yahoo got Answers. That. Somebody's got that. Yeah. Actually, that's a very good point. Presumably, the person who posted this to Reddit was searching... How do I <laughs> induce a coma? Yeah, there's a good point. Yeah. What's who? Who was it? Uh, it was a difficult name. Okay, yeah, that's right. Difficult name. Yeah, I don't, um, I'm not even going to yeah, attempt it again. No, no, but normally we message people that we've used their stuff. Yeah. When you message this person, can you just ask if they're all right? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> or not- I might say, if you're reading this in 2025, <laughs> when you wake up from your coma... Uh, we put you in an episode of our podcast. Uh, we're probably really famous oh, right I now. We should explain podcasts we're everywhere. We're an entertainment <laughs> system. Yeah, so we're big for like I don't know, fifteen years. Uh, they'll be very niche now. Yeah. Here's a link to iTunes. Okay, iTunes was a, a platform. <laughs> um, but you know what? Look, that person was obviously. I I like the unique way of tackling depression. Yeah. It's just kind of like, let's just delay this a little bit. If you could do, but like, actually, like you, you could choose to go into a coma. Would there ever yeah. be a circumstance in which you would choose to go into a coma? So say you, like there's something that was going to be released that oh, you yeah. really oh, wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, Cameron, this is exactly why I chose this one. Oh, right. Because okay. to be honest, yeah. I like the idea of a self-induced coma to just sort of, it's like a time machine, really, right. isn't it? Yeah. You know, just skip ahead a little bit. Mm. Um, in fact, <laughs> that's, I, I, that's true. Yeah, I've had the conversation with you before. Mm-hmm. I'll be real disappointed if I die before the Marvel movies come out. Yeah, <laughs> and I think that so if it gets to what, let's say Marvel just continues to grow, continues to do movies, right? Yeah. Then and then I'm gonna like start to get old at a point. Yeah. I think <laughs> I just kind of want to. Do you think the Marvel just, movies will outlive you? I think they might outlive me. Right. It's a possibility I'm throwing out there. Mm-hmm. So I want to just sort of. And it's maybe when I'm in like 50s, in my 50s, which is still kind of young, yeah. I'm going to try and get into a coma <laughs> um, and then just sort of ask somebody to wake me up every time a Marvel movie is released. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. And I'll just watch that yeah. and then bam, back, straight back into the coma again. The, the thing is, and I don't know what, what kind of a toll going in and out of a coma has on a person, but I think it would be somewhat unnatural to keep going in and out of a coma, maybe. Maybe Uh, because your body is dormant for a long period of time. Yeah, yeah. I would have no muscle mass. The problem is, or maybe this is better for, I don't know, is Marvel movies are coming out more and more frequently. So they'd be unwaking you every every couple of months. Like, Nelson, get up, there's another one. Captain Marvel's out. All right, back to sleep. Uh, Avengers is out. Yeah. Whether that constant being woken up is good for your body or bad for your body. Well, okay. Here's the thing, though. I like Marvel films, yeah, but I don't feel as though you need to have a great intellect to enjoy them. <laughs> yeah. So if I if I'm getting some sort of like mental distortion to my oh, brain, no, I was thinking like physical distortion. Oh yeah, that's fine. I could be in a bed and watch a movie. True. <laughs> yeah. you watch a movie from a chair, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I need no like really. So long as my eyes is my eyes are working. Here's, here's what would be genius about this. My ears. Right? Yeah. You if, what you do every time. You think, you know what? Uh, I'm going to put myself into a, a coma for like two years. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to go wake up and watch whatever Marvel films are out. I'm going to catch up. Yeah. So you just put like a thousand bucks into like a compounding interest account. Yeah. And just earn money while you're asleep. Because <sighs> those, those really things make money the less you touch them. Hopefully you don't have to spend money on medical expenses to you yeah. know mm. stay alive while you're in <laughs> the you coma. But you could probably you could probably make that a zero sum with your compound interest. Yeah, maybe. You wake up and you're like, "Well, I put that thousand bucks in. That covers all my costs with inflation." <laughs> yeah, okay. I did realize that one of my fl- the flaws to this plan oh, is I, is I am assuming that if I do go into a coma, I kind of go into this state of being a mortal. <laughs> yeah, like you well, don't like, age. I can go into a coma at fifty, wake up another hundred years later, and I'm still fifty. Mm. I realize that's a bit of a flaw in the plan. Mm. What you want is to be frozen in time. Yeah. Or okay, yeah. So frozen in time, but but you know what? There's still the benefit of like 
if I really, really wanted to... Like, there's a game coming out called Red Dead Redemption 2. Yep. It's going to be great. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Mm. How, how long are we talking? How, how long does this come out to be? Um, well, it, the game comes out like two months. <laughs> All right, yeah. Pop it a quick coma. Quick, quick, just a quickie coma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to wake you up? Because I think the new Spider-Man games comes up soon. Are you interested in that? Do you want me to wake you up for a quick uh, game? I do. They come out around the same time. Okay, so right. Wait till the latter releases. Right, right. And yeah, both at once. Clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clever. Um, I'm efficient with my karmas, if, if nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought this through. Uh-huh. Boy, my finances are in the tank, but I <laughs> I know how to program a karma. Let, let me tell you. <laughs> um, look, time travel seems like a great thing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. This isn't that, but <laughs> but yes, I agree. Okay. Well, Cambo, let's... No dilly-dallying. Today, let's get into da- Today I Learned. So now it's time for... Today I learned. Another the the theme song. Let's bloody get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for the theme song. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I appreciate that. <laughs> God, so, I'm so glad we made the Ask Reddit one so quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's finally paid off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God, this one is from Ilkakuf80. Uh. Today I learned the CEO of Charles Schwab often conducts interviews over breakfast, asking the cook ahead of time to slightly mess up the candidate's order. He judges their reaction as a test of their character. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, a bit bit sneaky, a bit on the sly. Mm, I've never heard of that company. Do you know what? (laughs) I was really annoyed at As soon as I read this, in my head I was like, Oh shit! I was meant to research what, that, <laughs> what that because it can it kind of can make a bit of a difference. Yeah, if it's a breakfast place, <laughs> it's, a breakfast place. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I feel like you need to have respect for like the employees and stuff. Or is it a bank? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, but it does make a difference. It <laughs> what they could potentially change our opinion. Yeah, yeah, because like maybe it's a uh, maybe it's uh like an accounting job where you have to be really dig- diligent and pick up on like minor errors oh, you know okay. so maybe it's like a it could be like a small change to the yeah. meal where it's like you you know you, a you different got kind sourdough bread instead yeah. of regular bread that's I, true I, yeah. yeah i think let's assume it's just it, it's just based on if you're the kind of person that would make a big deal asshole. of this yeah yep. yeah okay. an asshole yeah i was wondering about the reactions that this this guy might get. Yeah. Uh, in fact, okay, funnily enough, this is uh, uh, another Reddit on Reddit that I read and I can't remember what it's from, so I'm going to recount the story sure. in, a, in a really half-hearted way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was these guys who were hiring uh, and they went to hire someone who... Um, they, they had to choose between two candidates, right? And it was like a professor position. Yep. Uh, and they said they were both really evenly matched, so they decided to take them to dinner, and that would kind of just be the final final thing. Sure. Um, one guy, he they have dinner with him, everything's nice, lovely guy, really good yeah. sort of night, but at the end of the meal, he picked up his plate and licked it clean. Mm. Licked it completely clean. He's hungry for the job, Nelson. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like, uh, that's true. It could have been like mm. a... Professor teaching cleanliness. <laughs> um, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, and then uh, and then they had uh, the second person come in the next time, and they're like, "Look, pff, this guy's basically got it. Like he yeah. can't he can't f this up." And at the end, they say again, everything went fine. And then at the end, they said, oh, "You know, do you have any questions for us?" And he said, "Yeah, what's your policy on uh, like uh, teacher student relationships?" <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and apparently one of the professor's guys afterwards uh, it said, looks like we're going with the plate liquor. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to make a plate liquor look good. Yeah, yeah. And look, there's nothing wrong in the comfort of your own home lying mm. on the couch licking a plate. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it, but in a professional true. setting. No, I don't think I ever, I don't no, think I mean, I've ever ne- licked my neither plate. Neither do I. I don't lick plates either. Yeah. But if I saw, you know, someone, like say, I don't know, we were... We were at home together, and you just had a pasta that you fucking loved. Yeah, and yeah. You licked the plate. I'd be like, Yeah, all right. If I had a sprinkle of cocaine in my pasta, yeah, for yeah. example, <laughs> I might want to lick that clean. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's expensive. expensive. 
You know, uh, I say wavelength here. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but uh, so I, by the point of that story, I guess was that that to me, like I would just never ever. D- like be an asshole, I guess, if my order was wrong. Yeah. But there's people out there that are so confident to like lick their plate clean in front of other people that they, they don't know and think that's normal. That there's probably people out there that they think going ape shit at like an attendant for, you know, that gets their food wrong is I, equally as normal or something. I reckon that this licking the plate was a tactic. Yeah. It's, it's memorable, but also if they ever go. Why did you lick the plate? Like, yeah, I finish all tasks 100%, sir. So that's it. Like, it, it I, I, I mean, that would be good if he said it like, yeah. it, like straight off. Because right, you know, the, the classic. It would be, <laughs> sorry, I was just, I'm just thinking because it'd be awkward if you, you've like licked the plate, ready for this question, yeah. like, oh my god, why did you, you lick uh, that plate? Do you have any questions about that? So, yeah, uh, yeah, and they just don't say anything, and you're like, oh, should, uh, should, I, should, I, should I bring this one liner up? Should I tell them that it was because I do things 100%? Yeah, oh, I don't just, know, no, too much time has passed now. He's <laughs> just sitting awkward. there and he goes, what was that? Did you ask why I licked it? <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, 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 uh, that's fine, I guess. No, no worries. Because the, the classic joke in a job interview is always, you know, if you got a little thing of water and you fill it up and you fill it up just a little bit too much, you go, oops, sorry, always give 110%. Like, that's uh, the that's the yeah. little job interview classic. joke. Right? Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. Okay. Try it in the next interview. Do you know, okay, I will. <laughs> I have a feeling it won't go down no. as well as it sounds. No, but I think it's a better joke than it is a tactic. Yeah. If I don't think I'm going to get the joke anyway, I might give it a whirl. May as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, yeah, I was thinking, uh, you know, because I've heard that the best meal to get right. while and at a like business meeting or something is gnocchi. Okay. Because it's like sort of professional meal, right? You're not getting like yeah. you're not getting like fish and chips, right? But it's, uh, it's got some. It's a little distinguished. Yeah, it's a little distinguished, but also not very messy to eat because they're just kind of little balls. Pick them up. Is it? Is yep. it? So there's my life pro tip. So maybe. But what about at a breakfast? You don't have a gnocchi for breakfast. If they didn't serve me gnocchi, I would get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I would. It wouldn't even get to the wrong order bit. I'd be like, "Oh, what can I give you?" I'd be like, "I'll have the gnocchi." Oh, sorry, it's only breakfast. Are you what? <laughs> that, that table would be upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in mean, a business interview here again. Okay? <laughs> You're ruining my yeah. chance. You're gonna fuck this up for me. I swear to God, if I don't get, I'm gonna come back and fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to yeah. get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Threaten to kill someone if you don't mm. get the job. Mm. But not to the boss, loudly in front of the boss. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't want to be threatening your boss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, who called the cops? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, let's move on to uh, another one. No, not, no, we're uh, still no, in there. Uh, <laughs> no, we can't, we, we can't move on that fast. Okay, okay we're, we're, we're still good. So stuff. Now, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, good. I've reintroduced you. <laughs> okay. This today I learned is by PP0787. Okay. Today I learned about the IKEA effect, which is a cognitive bias in which consumers place a disproportionately high value on products they uh, they partially created. Mm, I've heard about this, yeah. Mm. The idea being IKEA could give you a fully completed couch. Yeah. They have that ability. Yeah. But the idea is if you have so- in some way help with it, you feel ownership. Yeah. You go, oh, you know, I built that cabinet. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some you, Swedish man built that cabinet. Yeah, you you did the adult equivalent of Lego. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what yeah. you did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I wonder what their theory is on always, uh, uh, un like, undelivering the amount of screws <laughs> in a box. <laughs> I wonder what the psyche is there. Mm. Make, you know, it's make like come back to IKEA. It's like, well, yeah, I think possibly because I think I'm pretty sure in most cases you do. I know my sister had that literal literal problem. It was like it was missing a part, and they were like, "Well, we can't really do anything for you. You have to like come in." And it took a really long process. Mm. I bet you she got a bloody coffee as well. Um, probably. Yeah, probably got see? hot dogs. They're like. Two they're, bucks. No, they're a dollar, Nelson. A dollar. It's my favorite oh, part of Ikea. I've been getting ripped I off. I had to go to Ikea recently, and mm. the whole time, I didn't care about what this person was getting. They were yeah. getting like a TV unit or something. I don't care. 
But the whole time I'm like, you just wait to the end when I get a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, that's you right. just wait to the end when I get a hot dog. Yeah, if you can get to the fucking end, Camper. Yeah, that's I the, know. That but is like the problem. The I end, feel like a rat in the maze because I'm the same as you. Like, I don't really want to go to Ikea, but I will go there for the hot dogs. Right. <laughs> But then I'm li- I in that case I have literally put myself in the place of a rat trying to get to its reward. Yeah. <laughs> like there is no. But in my head I kept repeating, "Gonna get a hot dog at the end. Gonna get a hot dog. Just gonna be a dollar. Yeah, one hot dog. Yeah. one dollar. Got yeah. to the end. Said one hot dog. Thanks. Said, do you want a hot dog and drink for a dollar fifty? I said, oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> really? I haven't even considered this. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, I do. I put two dollar coin down. Nelson got fifty cents change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, Denver. not to blow everyone away with my story. Whoa, what a rager that mm-hmm. was! <laughs> if if we have anyone out there that listens, it's an, a filmmaker or an animator, mm-hmm. and you want to animate or, or make a short <laughs> film about that story, I give you permission. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Um, add in a laugh track yeah. <laughs> if you if you could. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe some polite clapping at some points. <laughs> uh, and the bit where they're like, do you want a hot dog and drink? Just to have the audience gasp. Yeah, go. <gasps> yeah, yeah, that, that'd that be good. <laughs> uh, uh, the other thing I was thinking, right, I thought not just necessarily about IKEA products, sure. but if there is, oh, Jesus, uh, but if there is, um, you know, a, a disproportionately high value on products they partially create is the thing. Maybe that's why parents always think that their kids are the best. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, yeah, I've always thought this. I think that that because m- you made the dumb wiener. Exactly. You're like, oh, isn't isn't this sports ribbon good? No. Yeah. <laughs> no sports yeah. ribbon is good. No, to everybody else except your parents, it's <laughs> rubbish. It's so rubbish. Have you? It's seen- a waste of like plastic, if anything. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Have you seen? Another kid's picture? Yeah. Do you think that one's good? Yeah. It's as good as your yeah, kid's picture. Yeah, yeah that's right. I just got to tell you that. Yeah. Don't get me started on participation trophies. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, well, there's no I... participation trophy for podcasting. <laughs> we would know. We went to an awards <laughs> thing and we came out with nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to be, because I've, I've got uh, nieces and nephews. Yeah. I think I will have to be the uncle that, you know... The harsh uncle. The, the harsh uncle. The devil's advocate right. uncle, <laughs> uh, if you will. Uncle Nelson, what do you think of my picture? I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. It's shit. It's so... Oh, you could have, I could fact, do better than this. My niece... And I will. Let me show you. <laughs> my niece did some painting today, and I'll mm. tell you. Actually, one of them wasn't bad, which was weird. Mm, uh, it, Nelson, you show me... You show me an unbiased man no, the you, picture. It was because it was like three dimensional as well. Okay. You know, there's like paint. Be- I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, there, there is some. There's something here. I mean, don't get me wrong. She didn't intentionally <laughs> like say I'm going to put yeah. layer and depth to yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It okay. wasn't the melting clocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't. There was no real like creative juices coming out of her when she yeah. did it. But, but it's better it, but than it, the average. It's better than the average. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think what I'll do, like especially when it comes to things like. Um, you know, there's normally sports days and stuff at school when you get ribbons. Sure. If I ever go to my nieces and nephews, I'm going to buy myself like just a, <laughs> a ton of first place ribbons. Yeah. And, and and I will just, I'll, no matter how many my nieces and nephews get, I'll just up it by one. <laughs> like, oh, I came first in three races. I'm like, oh, I've got four first place <laughs> ribbons. So... Yeah. You know mm. how I did that? I've got a job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can do whatever I want. I bought these for 45 cents. <laughs> I, I got a box for $10. <laughs> I literally have hundreds of these ribbons. And they want, mean nothing. Do you want Your one? achievements are shallow. <laughs> you want one? You're going to have to win a race. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or you could buy them off me if you want. <laughs> um <laughs> That'd be pretty good, actually. Yeah. Go to like a school sports event and try to try to yeah. flog ribbons to kids. We should do black market <laughs> trophies at sports. Hey, kids, come here, come yeah. here. And then you know you. Woo! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's the first. <laughs> it's the first ballast bounce. Because it, it, that'll look fine. Just us hanging around a kids' sports day. Be like, kids, come over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got stuff for you. Go up to some kid. You want to be like, a real <laughs> winner? Come here. <laughs> Go up to some kid and be like, "Hey, Toby, I heard your dad thinks you're pathetic. <laughs> How about you buy a few of these ribbons and uh, show him you've got what it Give takes. us your lunch money, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anywho, oh crap. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> let's, you're uh, a hot mess. Let's get into shower thoughts. Shower thoughts. You get it. 
<laughs> yeah, good, good. Okay, this first <laughs> this first one is by. I tell you what, McLaren. I'm going to have to be very quick to stop the ask Reddit thing. That's very short. Yeah, he's very short. <laughs> okay, this is uh, by McLaren23. Okay, whether you're a good person or a shit person, <laughs> you will have left the world a better place when you die. Is that true? I do you know what I think? I had to think about this as well. It's because if you're a shit person, then you die, then nobody has to deal with you. Ah, uh, okay. I, I, I yeah. think it's really funny yeah. that we both did this. Yeah. I thought I was the idiot. I'm really glad that you confirmed that that's not the initial no, thought no, no, that no, you no. have. We're both idiots. <laughs> We're both <laughs> idiots. Okay, that's good. Um, but I was thinking if you set off a nuclear bomb, yeah. they might be glad you're dead, but you didn't leave the world better. Yeah. You, you left it quite physically worse. Unless... You were planning to set off another one. Okay, so I guess this situation... <laughs> another bigger one. I guess this situation <laughs> would be, you need to be a man that set off a nuclear bomb and then publicly stated, that's it, I want, I'm not going to do anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you die and they're like, I mean, the world isn't better, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he said he wasn't going to do it again. <laughs> I yeah. guess now that he's dead... In the fa- world is worse. In fact, it would be worse if like a few days before you died, you were like... Oh my god, I've seen the errors of my ways. I'm going to fix this. And <sighs> then you die. Oh. You'd be like, oh, you could have left the world a much better place if you had lived. Can I throw another scenario at you in okay. which you could leave the world a worse place? <laughs> okay. But being a good person. Okay. You're a doctor, right? right. Top of your field. Yeah. And you're in your lab one night working on doctor science stuff. Yeah. And you think, oh my god, I've bloody cured cancer. Oh, done it. And then you know what? You're so excited, you have a heart attack. You spill all your stuff everywhere. No one will ever know. Okay. You've left the world worse. Oh, my now God. Now that you're gone, oh that's worse. But if science has told me anything, mm-hmm. you'll probably come up with penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you've misunderstood. Isn't, isn't, yeah, but I think that's what happens, you know? Because pen, he threw out penicillin. Yeah. You, you throw but, out a cure for cancer. <laughs> someone will be you, like, you might just, hang on, you what's might this just, in the bin? <laughs> You might just cure like feline AIDS. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, it's like it's, it's, it's a positive scam. It's, it's not as showy, <laughs> yeah. but it's an important but issue. But it's still pretty, you know, <laughs> yeah. a lot of cats out there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a few less with feline AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, here's another one. This is by Farlow Tate. Farlow Tate. If, uh, if it was socially acceptable to wear the same clothes more often, most people would have a huge amount of money. Do you know what I thought about this? Yeah. This person thinks that it's not acceptable to wear the same clothes more like that often. Yeah, of course it is. I think that's like the problem <clears throat> with this this In- shower thought is the fact that it's like no the 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 thing is like I think just a certain percentage of people have that in their head, yeah. right? And I'm not sure I'm not even sure it's the majority. Well, I would Do you think s- it's the majority? The uh, people that are I, like... I would say it's probably half-half. Yeah, okay. I, but I know a lot of girls that will buy one dress yeah. and wear it on one occasion and then never again. Okay, so I had to talk a girl down from buying a dress the other day because we have an awards night coming up. Yeah. She's like, oh, I need to buy an address for an awards night. And yeah. I, was, I was like, why? How, how many dresses do you have? She's like, I don't know, 30 or so. Yeah. I was like... Well, just wear one of them because you haven't been to 30 events. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where everyone has seen every one of your dresses. Also, we went to one last year and I don't know what you wore. <laughs> yeah, ex- <laughs> exactly. No, Like nobody remembers what no. anybody wore. No. I reckon I've worn the same shirt and suit combination to the last like four or five weddings I've yeah. been to. And I don't think once anybody said anything. But there, there are even people out there and Mark Zuckerberg is one and Barack Obama is another who deliberately wear the same thing all the time because yeah. it's, it's a theory that if your head isn't in a space where you want to be making unimportant micro decisions, yeah, you just dress the same every day and that's just a, one less... To, especially Barack Obama said, I have to make a lot of decisions every day. Yeah, I want to start my day having to make that decision too. Yeah. So it's like, it's either grey or blue, his suit, someone picks it for him and he just wears it every day and it's, it's either one of those two suits. You, you'd hate for him to like... For there to be like a real big crisis, and on on that same day, he's like <laughs> he had to pick a time. He's like ripped his jeans or something, <laughs> you know, ripped his suit pants, and he's like, oh boy, I am one less decision down today. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got a certain amount of decisions in me. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same. Um, Mark Zuckerberg said the same thing. He always wears a hoodie and a t-shirt and a pair of cheap 
yeah runners it's like because you know i'm running a multi-billion dollar company yeah who cares what i'm wearing i just want to do my work and this is just the easiest to have this combination of clothes in a bunch of different yeah like uh he's just got a bunch of like versions of them like uh the same thing yeah yeah and he just wears it every day yeah that's true and there is a lot of uh there is a lot of like clothes waste in mm-hmm. general yeah um but but i but i do think because this person's thing is that it is uh socially unacceptable to wear the same thing yeah. but I, I don't think that's true do you think that's true like it, just talking about a percentage wise, do you think the percentage is higher that some people think it's, it's unacceptable? It's socially to- unacceptable to wear the exact same t shirt every day. Okay. So if you're not washing it and you're putting it back on every day, yeah, maybe that. But okay. if you have five versions of the exact same t shirt, that's fine. Okay. That's just the t shirt you wear. So like, okay, so you just get into like d- d- different, yeah, amount of. Uh, of like changes of clothes, even if it is different, shirt and that's just or a cleanliness thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you're wearing it's the same hygiene. shirt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm. Okay, so I guess we we need more information. Really, yeah. This is what we need. Right back in. Let us know. <laughs> yeah, they won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another one. It's by Ragnarok. Oh no, Rag Rag and Rock. Rag and Rock. It's like Ragnarok without the second A. Yeah. Okay, losing an eye is probably the only thing that sucks a million times more the second time it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I was thinking about this in quite a lot of depth. <laughs> I was like, but what if I lost a leg? I was like, like both my legs, but on different occasions. <laughs> That's like, true. But it's still, not, yeah. it's still not as bad as losing you both s- eyes. Yeah, yeah. I, if I lost my sight... I would just... There's, like, nothing... I, I don't know what I would do. I would just listen to podcasts all the time. I mean, is that totally dissimilar to what you do currently? I, I have... So much of my media is visual. No, right. No. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Like, I would have to... And there's only so many podcasts. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Okay, I, there's a lot of podcasts. Yeah. Not there's all so of many good. so good podcasts. Yeah, yeah. We're not one of them. No. <laughs> Um, I mean, please subscribe. Please, obviously. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was uh, it's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one, can be. It, oh, This is by No Less Than Three. If the thumb is not a finger... First of all, do you agree with that? The thumb is not a finger. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the, a, a peanut is not a nut. Yeah, but you, we, I mean... If we're going on Sh- technicalities, are you you're agreeing with that? Yeah, sure. Well, then think about this, Cameron. What is it? Then there is no middle finger. <laughs> I've always had a problem with that because it's it's not like because in your if you put your palm up with your thumb yeah because you're right it's never you're, in the middle not, anyway. You're not really including your thumb. Yeah, when you when you sort of just that's right because it's your in fingers. a fist. But that's not in the middle of. I'm I'm giving you the finger right now, Nelson. Yeah, you dear listener, awesome. I'm, I'm painting a theater of the mind. Yeah. Imagine me giving the finger to Nelson. Imagine that's not giving the, someone the finger. Yeah, that's, that's what it's like. That's not in the... Because the other one could also be the same. Like, that's not the middle yeah, of my hand. But it's because your pinky is so small that I think proportionally... Okay. Yeah. It sort of is a little bit more in the middle yeah. than if you put the one yeah, next, the next to your one. pinky. That's true. That's true. Now I'm seeing so, it. Wait, it's got, ca- listeners, <laughs> Nelson's now giving me the finger. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a 0.45. My question is, if the thumb's not a finger, what is it? Uh, it's damn similar. I mean, I think thumb. Yeah, but <laughs> like, <laughs> like it, it, why the different? Like, I, I guess it's got a few more joints. Like, it's 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 it's, it's so, just. I off. think it's got the same amount of joints. I don't know. My it's point just is, dip, it, it's, it's opposable, right? It's the Pepsi and Coke of extremities. Is that what it means? The bottom of the part is because you can move it like sideways. Though? Yeah, back kind of like back and forth back a little and, and stuff like that. I can take mine off sometimes, like this. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think listeners got that. Let's, yeah. <laughs> let's hope so. That was a visual joke that I think everybody yeah, got. Yeah. Uh, unless you're blind. Oh. Getting back to that point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Campbell, let's get into Ask Reddit. Okay. <laughs> okay, right, very it good. almost <laughs> finished. It almost <laughs> finished. <laughs> okay, uh, this is by Zyla Ross. You are... <laughs> Uh, you are legally allowed to acquire 
free of charge, mm -hmm. one square meter of land Ooh. anywhere in the world and do whatever you wish with it. Where do you choose? Um, I mean, I don't... I, I'm going to be honest. I, when I read this, I was like, oh, I thought I replaced that with a better question. <laughs> <laughs> not I the point. Not the I point, Gambo. Where's the most expensive per? That's you are okay. Look, it's a bad question, but that yeah. is not a good thought process. No, but okay. I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> no one ever has the best idea first, do they? Yeah. Well, okay. You but, had you've had time to think. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I definitely thought of my answer before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I'll give you some more time. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Do, do, um, do, do. Do, wait for it. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay. Who, uh, who is the richest person? It's Je Jeff Bezos, right? Mm. Sure. I, I think it's the guy that sure, owns sure, Amazon. Sure. I would put it right smack bang in the middle of his house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm like, you want it back? Mm -hmm. You know what? Okay. Buy it off me. Yes. Good. All right. Yeah, thank that, you. That's where I was going with it. I'm bloody done. Oh, Nelson, stop clapping. Stop clapping. Right. Right. I'm not. Now, everyone, Nelson just gave me a round of applause. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to separate our mics <laughs> later. Uh, but, okay. So, this is what I was, I was thinking that, right? Yep. yep. But I think if you had somebody that was that rich, mm -hmm. they'd just be like, well, kind of F you. Like, I know what you're trying to do. Right. And I'm not going to let you get away with it. Like, they would be so rich, they'd be like, okay. And they'd just, like, move their house. Out of, they, would, like, <laughs> they would, like, sell the area yeah. around their house and buy up land around it and just make it, like, a garbage dump. Yeah. Right? And then okay. the, and your one yeah. bit I, of land would be worth nothing. I've, I've got a second one. Okay. In the middle of a runway. That's pretty good. Because you can't just move the whole airport. It would it would just be cheaper for them to buy it off you mm. than to move the airport across. I think uh, <laughs> that's true. I, I think there's also... The so I'm just going to put a big wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Across my land. Just a okay. big old brick wall. Yeah, because does housing have... Oh, no, yeah. The, there is like height limitations normally based on council you yeah. know, regulation. Any kind of wall, though. Because it's not at the end the, of a runway. The, the end of a runway, they really got me there. I'll just fly over it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it. I forgot they take off. But see, I'm thinking that, you know, like council regulation, they'll be like, well, sure, this is your plot of land, but you can't put anything on there. Right. right? Okay. So yeah. they're just like, oh, whatever. What are you going to do about it? Mm. And then, I mean, I guess you could get Spikes. them on trespassing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just every, I saw that every flight. Every flight. You're just there <laughs> sitting in a deck chair like... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a shotgun. <laughs> just like, um, but uh, okay, this is what I was thinking. You, I, we were on the same path. Yeah. Uh, is it exploiting people? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but who's the best person to exploit? Okay, so first I was thinking, yeah, rich person. Okay, good. But they could move. So the house. you want somebody? They could move house. You want somebody with money, but then you want somebody. That has money and also a location that's like important. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking of the uh, the uh, Queen of England's sure. like supply the plot of land, the square of land, right on top of her throne. <laughs> right. Right. There's yeah. probably been there mm -hmm. for forever. Mm -hmm. And as if they would want to, there's no, you know, if the, you couldn't say that the council is like, hey, you can't put anything there because you're like, well, it was, there was a house here before, so I can put whatever <laughs> a house would have. Mm -hmm. And I would put, obviously, a latrine. And I might have to get a helicopter in there. Mm. Might like, be. That might be somewhat hard. Fly over, get down, yeah. take a dump, yeah. get back up. It's expensive. <laughs> but there's not going to, the queen's not going to be happy with that. And that's going to be like, you know, sovereign soil or something. Wonder, I wonder, is that treason? Um, but in what? Nah, what, in what way? Because well, you're I, deliberately and with malicious intent making the, the Queen's life hard. No, no, no. I just about, oh, hey, we're neighbours. <laughs> oh, is I, this where this is? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I just picked a random longitude and latitude from that genie because I'm guessing that's where we get mm. this play land from, like mm. always. Mm. Like mm. all our questions. What about somewhere you can get good secrets? 
Oh. What if okay. it's like right in the situation room of the White House? <laughs> yeah. And every time there's a crisis, they have to come into your house and you're like, I won't listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've just got some popcorn I'll, and you're chewing. I'll just pop little... in these headphones. <laughs> I can't hear a thing. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, the world is going to end in <laughs> three hours. It's going to what? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Um, okay, that's good. How about like just for something interesting, a like a in the middle of a pyramid or something? Ooh, I don't know. yeah. Okay, interesting. Just interesting. Go at a certain point, you have oh. to like burrow down into it. That'd be cr- okay, where is? I know we've been going too long on this, but yeah, God where, damn it, Kevin. We where need- where is a location that people always want to go to and and it is hard to access? I'm thinking maybe like a Machu Picchu. All right, because you have to go up the trail, the Inca trail. Right, yeah. The one just before you get there, yep. you buy that block of land and make people yeah. pay to go through. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So you're, yeah. You're, like you're, you're, you're just almost got a there. Little, you've just, you're, you're almost there. You don't want to turn back, do you? You've just got a it's little just gonna be like, $60. tollway yeah. thing. <laughs> just a little like, arm that comes up yeah. and down. That, yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, okay. Cambo, here's uh, another one. Okay. This is by Couch Liquor. <laughs> if, if there was a dating app where you could only see pictures of a person's room, what would you look for in a match? Uh, I don't think I'm that big. I don't think I judge bedrooms that much. Like, okay. I, if someone had a messy bedroom, yeah. first of all, I'd take a photo of it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's, somebody it's like, else, like Tinder comes over okay. at, a, at a random time and right. you play okay. your Tinder yeah, yeah, yeah. and they just go, surprise, we're doing your profile yeah. pictures. Okay. But if I saw a messy room, I'd be like, ah, eh, it's part for the course. You know? Right. Okay. It, it, like, I could think of things that would be bad more than things I would want. Yeah. Um, you know, if they've got, I don't know, Nazi insignia or something like <laughs> Okay. That. You think that's a turn off? Well, you know, not in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The time and a place. And that was Germany in the third. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, even that was questionable whether it should have been up. I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. That's a good. That's a good one. Just sort of like certain certain values that you can uh, get the symbolism of yeah. from, like oh, for example, like a- if they had a cross on the wall, I probably wouldn't want you yeah. know yeah. that. Or what if it's or, upside down, Satanist? Or fine, yep. Uh, <laughs> or Justin Bieber posters? No, thank you. What if they're upside down, Satanist? Oh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Maybe they had a Big Bang Theory poster or something, and big, uh, yeah, a big heart around Sheldon or something. I'm yeah. Like, uh, we're not gonna get up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Um. Uh, this is what I was thinking though, because. Yeah, sure. Messy bedroom, I wouldn't particularly care for. I think there is an element of, uh, and I've seen it before, but like a hoarder, hoarder sort of room. Oh, uh, yeah. Where yeah. there's like... Like stacks of newspapers or something. Stacks of newspapers or like even just kind of rubbish and stuff. Yeah. Because you can have a messy room, but if you've just got like actual rubbish mm-hmm. and like dirty plates and stuff everywhere yeah. from food, yeah. like I yeah. think that's just a bit more gross than yeah. I'm willing to accept. Um, but I think the thing is... I wouldn't want somebody that has a really clean room. Okay. Like why, why super, because I don't think I'd get along with that person. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I don't think, think they'd get along with me. Like, I don't I don't think I have a particularly messy room. Mm. Like, the messiest it gets, so there'll, there'll be, like, a lot of clothes on my floor. Yeah. But even then, I try to not get it that messy. Um, but if somebody was, like, if, if, if it is this kind of, like, surprise scenario, right? where Tinder comes over and their room is immaculate, which assumes they keep it immaculate all the time. I don't think I want to be with that person. Okay. I think that's like too much. It's not a deal breaker for me. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I would annoy them more than they would annoy me, I think. Really? Yeah. What? How do you mean? Because they would just be like, oh, you've messed it up again. I'm like, oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I and, mean, they, and they'd be like, could you clean that? I'm like, oh, yeah, soon. Yeah, I, I yeah, I didn't think that relationship's gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think too clean is also a problem. Okay, you want the just the right amount of clean and mess. Just the right amount. All right, Campbell, let's get into question thirty-one. Okay, we went through a series of questions, questions, and uh, we got you to love us. And now we're doing questions to get you to like us. Cool. 
This question 31 is How often do you get your hair cut? Where do you go? Have you ever had a bad haircut experience? All right. Let me answer this in order. Do you know what? In the For the first time ever... Okay, now you go. Go, go. Um, infrequently, wherever, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I just quickly elaborate on what okay. your bad hair experience was. Um, I mean, just, just dissatisfaction with how it looked. Okay. You're like, I want this done. They're like, got it. And then they... Don't. Yeah. Okay. And you're like, oh, I paid money for that. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, That's okay. much. Oh, first of all, have you ever come out with the exact length you wanted your hair to be? Uh, recently, yes. Okay. But you're, never before yeah. that. You're yeah. like, I want it this length. Then you walk out with about an inch less than you wanted. And you're like, ah. Oh. Uh, see, I, I always end up with not as much as I wanted. Oh, okay. That is always a problem. I, I've, I feel like I've just always had hairdressers that are scared to take too much off. <laughs> I think it's kind of like this thing. It's like, well, if you if you cut less than what you think they want off, then they're l- less likely, y- your haircut is less likely to be angry because mm. they're like, well, you didn't cut it right, but I guess it won't be as long till I have to cut it again <laughs> or something. I don't know. I reckon there's some sort of weird okay. mentality there. But I've also never frequented a, a hairdresser enough to have like a, a common thing. Probably the closest I got is I used to live across the street from a hairdresser. Right. So I reckon I went to it maybe four times. Okay. Yeah. That's probably the most frequent I've ever been to a one single hairdresser. Okay. Yeah, that's true. My answers are how often do you go haircut? When my hair's long. Yep. <laughs> Where do you go? I've started going to this place. I've only been there twice now. But I reckon it's the best barber I've ever found. First of all, I think as male, I shouldn't have ever been going to hairdressers. I think that's a rookie move. Mm-hmm. If you're a male, don't go to a hairdresser. Yeah. Um, so I went to this barber recently, and they and they, I said to you, and I recommended it to you, yeah, because I think it's just like an, it's like a old man yeah. barber is what it feels like. It is, yeah. yeah. And uh, I went in. I was like, I don't really know what I want. I said uh, I normally get three on the sides, but I think I'd prefer two. The first time where the hairdresser was just like, yeah, okay. And uh, see, normally they're like, they're like, oh, you sure? That's a bit short. So I was uh, happy with that. And uh, have I had a bad haircut? I don't know. No, not really ever. I've, yeah. I've just, I've shaved my head a few times. Mm. And so I've never thought that, like, I've never been worried about coming out of a haircut because I felt like if I had a, a bad experience, I would just shave, shave it, it yeah. and it'll be fine. But I've never had that. I'm just too... I just don't care yep. enough about him. And for those anyway. following along at home, that's another bad question from a series of what has been very bad questions. Well, I think that uh, I was going to say, we, we did go on for a bit, but we've had like a very similar question before. I was going to say, this is the best of the series of questions okay. because we want to end the show quickly. Oh, yeah. And we had generally <laughs> gone over this before. Yeah. So I mean, I gave you my answer and then you made me elaborate. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Let's get me to the Ask Me Anything where listeners of the show just like you listener can write and ask you anything you want <laughs> we've, uh, barely we've, audible we've, we've uh, do we what do you want me to do no don't repeat <laughs> okay uh, we've got uh, just one here because you know short episodes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is by Dylan I'm just going to read it Camber okay hey fellas here's a hypothetical for you guys what would the adult version of an ice cream truck sell and what song would it play I mean it'd probably sell ice cream Adults like ice cream. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying like something tantalizing that you'd be like, oh, I need to go get that? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I, mean, I think it does truck. mean a more adulty. Uh, yeah, that's true. It's a yeah. mobile coffee truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, the adult thing that everyone fucking needs. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. It's very. Um, yeah, that, that, okay. That's a good answer. <laughs> I was hoping for something more creative, but that's very practical and I, I appreciate it. The logical response that Thank you gave. You. But what song would it play? I don't know. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. We sell coffee from a van. That's a song. That's an original song. Could you imagine hearing that down the street? Yeah. Oh my God, the coffee van's coming. Because you don't coffee, want coffee, it to coffee, be coffee. ambiguous about what's coming. <laughs> yeah, but I think the idea is that, let's say this thing has always existed. Mm. And so just like when you hear an ice cream truck sound, you know that it's ice cream. Mm. But 
I'm yeah, sorry, man, but if like, you heard coffee, 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 it's time for coffee. That's what we sell from this van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wouldn't know what's coming. Well, I, you would know what's coming, but... Exactly, it's, you'd be it's, very well informed. It's not like an enjoyable, like... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you not enjoy my song? <laughs> yeah, you're not like, oh, I'm gonna... Like, I'm I'm so glad that while I'm here ordering this coffee, mm-hmm. I get to hear that over and over again. Are you, are you glad when you hear that fucking bell sound from the... I, do you go into Spotify and listen to that? It's far more pleasant. <laughs> Then coffee, coffee, okay. coffee. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not the one singing it on the final record, okay? <laughs> okay? I'll get fucking Ed Sheeran or something. Okay. And it'll be very sweet and everyone will have it yeah. at the wedding or He's whatever. He's got a pretty soothing voice. That's, exactly. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, see? Yeah. I the guy that him. wrote all the songs for Elton John, he didn't sing them, did he? He just wrote them and he cashed the check. Okay. Um, and that's written, is it? Like what you just did, that's the final... Final draft, final yeah, version. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Yeah. It's I was like, just wondering if you were gonna, you know, it doesn't have work ver- on it. Doesn't have verses bit. and a breakdown <laughs> and, a, okay. and a rap like section in the middle. I think that I would like as an adult a milkshake truck with okay. the song "My Milkshake Brings All the Boys Together." <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, because especially I if, would just find that amusing. Especially I'm lactose if, intolerant, and I would love that. Sometimes <laughs> with food trucks, what they do is when they park, they add a little bit of turf down mm. and put a little white picket fence, and mm. you could literally have a little yard oh, and play that song. Okay, that's yeah, good. that's yeah. a good idea. Um, yeah, that's all I got. All right, which song do you like better? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Or coffee, coffee, coffee. No, no, sing it's, it properly. Again. It's an original. Sing, sing it coffee, again. coffee, coffee, coffee. Time for coffee. That's what this fan sells. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. <laughs> again, imagine it's sung by someone better, but the tune's there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine Ed Sheeran doing like a mm. coffee, coffee, coffee. Everybody wants coffee. That's not the lyrics. Oh, of shit, I've forgotten it. <laughs> it's time for coffee. That's what this van sells. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. It's time for coffee. That's what this van sells. Yeah, ex- exactly. Okay. Pretty cool. It's good. Yep. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's it for a show. Yep. We are under an hour, but only just. <laughs> oh, we've done it. Quick. 52 minutes. Uh, we just want to say, if you'd like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R-E-A-D-I-T podcast at gmail.com. Yep. You can reach us on Facebook, at Twitter, and our subreddit. They're all R E A D I T podcast, and if you could subscribe, that's awesome. Yep, tell and a also the episodes are normally longer and better than this. No, it's like same nah, quality, yeah. really. More yeah, than... same quality, but shorter. This is actually the it's premium probably format. the best. This is probably the best. In fact, when we started, we only wanted to go for an hour. Mm-hmm. So, you know what? See you later. <laughs>